Okay, so I've updated the scripts folder on GitHub um, in the inventory JS, so you can see that. Um, this is where we were up to today. Um, I did add an item, the item. Now, I just wanted to explain this in a little bit de more detail, and then I wanted to actually um, show you how to use this. So this here, and I'm going to put some comments in here, this so like back in um, brackets. So this first line here is um, we've got an overarching if statement. So we've got and it's got three parts. So if this is true and this is true and this is true. So if all three of those are true then we will execute this code. Otherwise, we're going to execute that code. So the first bit checks if the item size is less than max size of our container. So in the container, oh, sorry, just very hot ears with the headphones on. Um, so less than the max size of the containers. So this max size is set for the con actual container. Um, the second one is the capacity. So the capacity is just a numeric value. Um, so I can this container can take t maximum of 10 items. So we're checking whatever the current capacity is, plus one is less than the maximum capacity. And that's set up here as well. Um, Is less than the maximum capacity. And the last one is the weight. So I'm checking if whatever the current weight of the item is, so there, it, um, plus the item weight is less than the maximum weight, we do that. Now we add it, but then we actually have to update all our current values. So current weight, this dot current, current weight and we can shortcut that to plus equals one so we're adding one to that so we're taking the value of current weight and adding one to it and this dot current capacity or sorry capacity plus equals one error here was we are going to current weight plus equals the item dot weight so otherwise we're printing that out. So we're actually updating the weight, updating the capacity, if we can add it in. So that's creating the add item function with, or method, which is part of any inventory item. So and we add it to this thing. And then the last thing I was doing was we're going to use this display. We're going to call this display thing. Um, and the display belongs here, display. And it doesn't take any parameters or any things like that. It's another function. And all we're going to say is, uh, we're going to say our var display string equals <coughs> and we say this dot name plus and then we're going to say we want a new line so we're going to say like backpack new line and then on the new line we're going to we're going to actually loop through um, each item so, but if we've got nothing, we're going to say your container has no items. If, so if we have nothing, then uh, the length or the size of this dot items will be zero. If this dot items dot length is equal to zero, 
we'll say display string plus equals this dot uh, what are we going to say there are this dot items dot length items in in this dot name so now we might actually just display that anyway so we can display the quantity so there are 10 items in this and we're actually going to plus uh, break and then if we got no items in it we're just going to do or let's say if it's not equal to zip not equal to zero because if it's zero we're just displaying there are zero items if we actually have items we're going to say display string plus equals and we're going to say it's a unordered list and then for var i equals zero i is less than this dot items dot length i i plus plus so this is the pattern for a loop and i'll fix this items. so this is just the pattern for a for loop and then we're going to say display string is equal to list open list tag plus this or it is this dot items i so each item dot name plus close of list tag and then at the end we go display string plus equals close our unordered list tag um, and then we are going to display out display output display string so that will call this one display output if I could spell it properly and we're going to display string so when we create an inventory it's going to say it's going to come through here and it's going to call this display function which is going to say our name of a thing it's going to say there are zero items and then because it's not equal um, because it's equal to zero it's going to do nothing here and then it's just going to display the string now to use this we've created a sword we've created a potion now we need to go my inventory is equal to new inventory so creating the object and we can see the pop-up it needs a name a size a capacity and a weight so name is going to be bag the size is going to be 10 well, let's just check these maximum size is going to be 10 maximum capacity is 10 and maximum weight is going to be 10 10 10 now if I then say inventory dot add item sword inventory dot add item potion um, and then inventory and what else have we got um, inventory inventory dot display so let's have a look at that so if I go into file live preview and let's have a look at our so I'm going to have errors. So right click, console, serve respond with status of not found. Okay, and this is because when I cloned it, I actually cloned the wrong one. So this will be updated for when you guys download it. Um, and um, like, because I'll commit those into. Git and um, just show you how I do that. 
So I'll go git commit minus m and update inventory. So that um, no changes added. Okay. No changes modified. And then I can say git push and that will should say push it out. <coughs> Everything is up to date. So that'll all be there when you actually see that. So save that, save that, um, and let's have a look at our over here game demo. Reload that and created that a bag. There are zero items bag. Added a basic sword. That there are two items bag, and it does that now. Um, messages. So in my index.main, let's change that to message. And so this is just a couple of changes. And in my styles, I need to change that to message. And now when I reload that, created a base sword, created a health potion. In the bag, there is an items added a basic sword. At a health potion back, there are two items, and it lists the items in the back. So that's the basics of our inventory system. Um, so the next session is we're going to have buttons that display them, and then we're going to add them in. So when I click on something, it's going to add in. Um, so we've got, I'll make sure that's all updated in there. Um, and that's about it, 10 minutes done and I'll save this post into teams and we're good to go.